guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do another top favorites in the nail polish family. I have not done one of these in a while. I realized that and I thought, well, it's about time I should sit down and pick a couple of colors. I couldn't narrow it down. I wasn't sure what I wanted the topic to be or the genre. And then I finally decided, why not talk about some pretty shimmery and sparkling shades that are perfect for the winter time. So that's what I have here. I have some shimmery shades, some glittery shades, and some cream shades. So if you guys want to find out what my top picks are for winter, and nail polish, then just keep watching. So let's start with these sparkly colors. The first one is a great statement nail or just a nail polish topper, and it comes from Nicole by OPI, and it's called Guys and Galaxies. This actually came in an Ipsy bag a long time ago, maybe a few months ago, I'm not sure. I don't remember when I got this, but I really, really like it. It's so pretty, and I think it looks gorgeous with a blue manicure as a nail topper or just simply as a statement nail. It has this iridescence to it, so it catches kind of like a rainbow prism in the light, and it has that gorgeous silver glittery effect as well. So it looks really pretty on top of any nail polish that's in a cream or neutral family, as well as a statement nail. I really like it. And again, it's Nicole by OPI in Guys and Galaxies. This next shade is a little bit pricier, but it's definitely worth it. I've loved this brand since the first time I went to New York Fashion Week, I discovered this brand, fallen in love with her nail polishes, and yes, I'm talking about Deborah Lippmann, and this gorgeous gold shade kind of looks like my top, and it has that nice shimmery effect to it. It's called Can't Be Tamed, and it almost has like a chocolatey brown black under undercoat to it. So this looks really pretty paired with a dark chocolate manicure because it really catches the light when you put this on top. I love the combination that this looks with chocolate polish. It just looks gorgeous. The next two shades that I have for you are actually cream polishes, which are just that, just creamy, opaque, beautiful polishes. And I wanted to pick two colors that I thought are perfect for this winter season. It does kind of scream Christmas because one is red and one is green, but these are the colors that I think are beautiful for right now. And this first one comes from Essie. It was recently released in their 2015 winter collection. And I had to include it because not only is it a gorgeous kind of true cherry red, but it's called Shao Li Chalet. And my blog and my YouTube channel is called Fashion Chalet. So I thought it was so cute that there's a nail polish that's kind of maybe sort of named after me. And I am a die hard red nail polish junkie. So I had to include this one. And then this next cream polish comes from OPI. I'm not sure if this is from an older collection because I did have to buy it online. I saw a swatch on Instagram and fell in love instantly. It's a gorgeous military kind of uh, almost vomity brown green. The name is really funny. It's called Uh Oh Roll Down the Window. So it kind of does have that kind of barfy, barf, baby barfy greenness to it. But I just thought it's so pretty because it reminds me of the military. And I do love a great sparkly, metallic-y, bright green nail in the winter, but this was different and that's why I chose it because it's almost like a neutral green and it does remind me of the fall and the winter time, so I definitely have to pick this one. And the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades that I have to share with you are all shimmery. So the first one, again, comes from the Essie 2015 Winter Collection and this one is called Apre Chic and it's just a gorgeous foiled metallic. I like to think of it as a robot silver. It's very, very shiny. This would look really pretty with a black outfit. I think it would just really pop. I have to wear black for work, so I really like this color. And because my rings, my engagement ring and my wedding bands are silver or uh, white gold, I like to wear silver polishes. I don't like gold polishes as much because I feel like they clash. Even though people have told me that it looks cool to kind of mix your polish with your jewelry, but I like kind of matching it more with my jewelry and I think this color is beautiful and it doesn't chip on me for a good 10 to 12 days as long as I use a good top coat. This next shimmery shade, I'm actually wearing it right now and again it's an older shade. I had to pick it up online. It's called Wrapped in Rubies and it comes from Essie as well and it has kind of like a reflect of a bronzy gold to it, but it's mostly a reddish ruby color. So it's a shimmery reddish ruby color that has some bronziness to it. So when it catches the light, you do get that kind of bronzy reflect and I really liked it because it was different especially when I saw it swatched again on Instagram such an enabler that Instagram um, but I had to pick it up it's really pretty wrapped in rubies from Essie this next shade I actually saw it in a YouTube video and this girl is just doing a winter tag or something it just randomly popped up in my recommended videos and she said her favorite winter nail polish is this one from L'Oreal and it's called the statement piece number 138 and it's this gorgeous finely milled soft soft gold it has some silver to it and it has these tiny little silvery flecks throughout it it's really pretty it kind of reminds me of cupcake frosting 
if Cupcake Frosting was gold. <laughs> it just has that soft, frothy look to it. It's really pretty and it's very elegant. I think this would look beautiful if you were going to a formal event with a long ball gown or something and it was winter time. I think this would be a beautiful polish both on the fingers or the toes. This next color, I actually discovered it on Instagram as well, and it's my first polish from this brand, CND Vinyl Lou. I hope I'm saying it correctly, Vinyl Lux, Vinyl Lou from CND, their weekly polish, and this is in the shade Gilded Pleasure, and it's a gorgeous coppery green that is amazing in the light. This catches the light and it changes color before your eyes. It's so pretty, it's like a metallic plated effect, it's shimmery and it changes color. I love polishes that are different, and this is definitely out there, but it's beautiful. The next two colors are from OPI. The first one is newer. It comes from their Moonlight Collection. I believe that's what it's called. I've mentioned this before. It's called Let Your Love Shine, and it's this very finely milled glittery red. It's so pretty in the light, and it has almost like a dark ruby undertone to it. So it's kind of like a bright red, but it's also dark red at the same time, and then it has that shimmeriness to it, which makes it really pretty. I love red polish this time of year, so I'm really excited to find just different options in the red family that aren't always the exact same thing. And this one's definitely different. It's very beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Dorothy's um, ruby slippers with lots and lots and lots of shimmery shine, almost like as if tiny little sequins were mixed in throughout the polish. And this other one from OPI, I don't know if it's older or newer, I just randomly saw it on the shelf, and it's called Espresso Your Style, and it's a shimmery kind of semi-metallic-y brown chocolate cafe espresso brown and i've really been on this brown polish trend lately there's some pretty ones from revlon and there's some from obviously opi and i don't know it's just something really fun about doing a neutral brown nail i just really like it and the fact that it has shimmer and a little bit of a sheeny metallic -y foiledness to it is really pretty too and again it's espresso your style from opi and then the last one is my absolute favorite, and this one was purchased from Sephora. It's the brand Formula X, and it is in the shade Revved Up. And it's this gorgeous kind of soft rose gold. It has very, very, very finely milled glitter throughout it. It's more of a lightweight sheen and metallic finish than it would be of a shimmer. So I really like it because you get that foiled look on your nails, which I really like, especially in the winter holiday because, it, again, it reminds me of Christmas wrapping paper and it's just such a pretty color. And I did see some people who got their December Ipsy bags with a tiny version of this exact polish, but I purchased this a couple months ago, last year sometime, because the color was just so pretty. And again, it's revved up from Formula X. <laughs> I can't stop saying that. These polishes are all so pretty. So that is it for my top winter polish picks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of short, but I thought it would be fun to just share my current, current favorites for this season as far as polish goes and what I own and what I find to be my favorite and of course gravitate towards this time of year. So let me know what polishes you enjoy wearing this time of year because I'm always looking for new colors and let me know if you own any of the ones I mentioned below because I want to know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.